Okay, hood is frozen shut, so we'll have to try it again with the key, see what happens. One more try. Last try. Nope. Okay, I managed to get the hood open. Let's see if this thing works. Give her a try. Fudge. Booster pack, not for the win, so let's bring out the big gun. Let's set it to boil and give it a try. Just we'll let it charge for a bit. Okay, block heater plugged in. Battery charger set to boil. We'll see what happens in a little bit. Okay, cold start attempt. Number, I don't know, three. Battery charged up in a couple hours. Block heater's been plugged in. It's been plugged in since yesterday. And... Uh, we're going to give it a shot here. The other station says it's minus 36 right now. It was minus 38 earlier. Fingers crossed. Rest. Try again. Well, that ain't good. Battery still seems a little weak. Let's see it's Trying to charge a like hell. Let's crank it up to 75 amps, see what we get. Well, booger. I think I'm going to bring the battery into the garage and charge it up where it's warm. Maybe that'll help. Okay, day number two of my winter cold start situation here. I discovered yesterday that my block heater wasn't working. That's why the cords is lying on the ground. It's currently minus 36. Looks a little chilly out. So let's continue on this little saga. What's sad is I have a heated garage right behind me here that's got my truck and other vehicle in it. And how do you drag this inside? It's too cold to do much about it. So let's get the hood open and see what my next steps are. Okay, so I still have the battery out. It's in the garage on a charge. And I pulled the top cover of the, you know, that cowling thing that's on there and what I'm going to try and do is just put a space heater in here have it blowing on the motor for a couple few hours and see if that 
retains enough heat underneath to uh, maybe warm up the block because what has happened with trying to start it uh, number one I think it flooded itself uh, number two that polished off the cylinder wall so probably made the compression lower because the rings got nothing to uh, press up against in this old beast and the battery was weak and block heater not working so at minus 36 she said no way Jose so let's get that space heater in there okay I have this little house space heater sitting in here and I have about 10% confidence that this is gonna do anything it's just the outside air is too cold for this thing to even try and heat up anything so I'm gonna close the lid or hood on the car and see if any warmth stays under there and I'll check back in a few minutes okay I've had this sucker in here for oh 10 minutes with the hood closed and I don't think it's doing jack squat there's a slight bit of warm air coming out of it but I don't know if it's gonna be enough to do what I'm hoping it'll do probably need a, a ceramic heater or something instead of one that's trying to blow air might have to consider investing in one so when all else fails grab a different vehicle go for breakfast okay so that other heater was doing jack squat and you can see I've wasted most of a day trying to work through this so I got a different heater this is a better heater it's called father-in-law heater so maybe it'll do a better job so we'll give that one a try and then I think I'm also going to take the spark plugs out take them in the garage and dry them out Okay, I was able to get three out of the four spark plugs out, and they are fairly fouled. They were wetter than this. I've already wiped them off a bit. But uh, we'll let them warm up. I'll clean them off. I couldn't get the fourth one out because the coil screw, or the screw that holds the coil in, uh, kind of rounded out on me. So we'll see what I can do from there. Still got the battery inside on a trickle charge, and let's go fire up that heater and close the hood. Okay, this is day three of the Why Won't My Jeep Start Sock. So, where are we at? Minus 37 right now, got down to minus 39 overnight, according to the Weather Channel. Of course, the Weather Channel can't predict the weather to save their butts. Let's see how our heater did under the hood here. Let me open the hood up. Oh, heater's still running. Things feel sort of warm. Next thing I need to do is put the spark plugs back in. But what I want them to do is climatize a bit. So I was only able to take out three because this guy here, for whatever reason, is stripped out and it's too cold out here to worry about it so we'll see if uh, we can get it to start with three clean spark plugs at least another thing I'm debating is do I drain the oil out of it and put some warm oil in it see if that would do anything ultimately I've ordered a block heater and it still hasn't arrived at Napa even though they said they had it in stock so we'll see what happens there but I need to really get it into the garage and everything's so stiff that I think the only way to do that would be push it into the garage with a tow truck or or something like that or wait for the weather to warm up maybe I won't worry about it till spring okay battery back in been charged all night on a trickle charge in a warm environment three out of four spark plugs cleaned Let's see what happens. Fingers crossed, folks. Here we go. Come on, baby.
Not that time. One more time. Oh boy. So close, so close. Ooh, I can smell the starter and I don't like that. Starter's 300 bucks. I'll let the starter cool off a minute and give it another try. Just for fun, I'm going to add uh, warm quart oil to it, see if that loosens things up. Okay, warm quart oil in. I don't know, after this, I think the only thing I can do is try and get it inside and thaw it out. Let's give her a try. <laughs> I'm going to go put the uh, booster on it, just give it more battery power, see if that helps. Booster pack on, let's give another try. It's trying. Okay, I let it sit another 10 minutes. I'm trying to preserve my starter. So I'm going to do the foot to the floor thing to cancel out any uh, automation or sensing and see if I can get anywhere from with that. So pedal to the floor. Nope. I'm really worried about my starter. It's never worked so hard in its life. Come on, baby. Well, that was seemed more promising. Why does it have to be so cold? Okay, I'm going to wait two minutes, let the starter cool down, and then try it again. Fifteenth time the charm. 
Oh, it was so close there. Yay! Oh, listen to the knocking. Check engine lights on, no big surprise there. Get this mother into the garage. Got two vehicles to move around first. She's in the garage in heated comfort. New problem power steering's not working. So, something else to address. I'm just going to assume it's just cold. But who knows? I'm going to put the battery charger back on it, just get it right up to snuff. Something smells funny, which concerns me, but we'll deal with that in a bit. Then change the oil in it, just to get all that fuel out of the oil, and uh, go from there. That's it for this minus 40 cold start. Just started on Friday, got her done on Sunday. That's the way things go when it's cold. Catch you next time. Bye-bye.